Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer and I'm a doctor. My aim is to bring you knowledge which can improve and sometimes even save lives. In today's video I'll tell you everything you need to know about multiple sclerosis, so let's get into it. Before we talk about multiple sclerosis, or MS, it is important to have a basic understanding of the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Nerves come out of your brain and spinal cord and take message back and forth from your skin, muscles, organs, and tissues. Nerves are vital for our body to function properly. We have thousands of nerve fibers that carry information from your brain to different areas of the body. These act like electrical cables. Each nerve fiber or electrical cable is surrounded by a protective sheath called the myelin sheath. The purpose of the myelin sheath is to help carry information from one area to the other more efficiently. What is MS and what causes it? So, what exactly is multiple sclerosis, and who is most likely to get it? Let's take a closer look. MS occurs because of inflammation in parts of your brain and or spinal cord. This causes damage to the area and results in the symptoms experienced. We will talk about the symptoms later in the video. MS is an autoimmune disease. This means that your immune system, which is used to fight against bacteria and viruses, gets a little confused and starts attacking parts of your own body, in this case, the myelin sheath surrounding the nerve fibers which in turn causes small areas of inflammation. No one fully understands why your immune system starts acting this way. The inflammation around the myelin sheath means the affected nerve fibers can't function properly and as a result symptoms develop. Once the inflammation clears, the myelin sheath starts to repair itself and the nerve fibers start to function properly again. However, repeated bouts of inflammation can cause sclerosis which means scars or plaques on the nerve fibers, and this leads to permanent damage. MS patients end up developing multiple areas of scarring in the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. Types of MS The most common type of MS is relapsing remitting MS. Nearly 9 in 10 people have this form of the disease. A relapse means that symptoms develop and may last for days to weeks and sometimes even several months. After this you enter the remission phase where the symptoms ease or resolve. This relapsing remitting MS pattern usually lasts for several years and having one or two relapses a year is common. Over time, some symptoms can worsen and become permanent due to more scar tissue forming in the brain or spinal cord. This is called secondary progressive form of MS. One in ten people with MS have primary progressive form of MS where the symptoms gradually worsen from the outset and do not have periods of remission. Who is most likely to get multiple sclerosis? Multiple sclerosis is most commonly diagnosed in people between the ages of 20 and 50, but it can affect anyone at any age. It is estimated that over 2.3 million people worldwide have multiple sclerosis. Women are twice as likely as men to be diagnosed with the disease. There is also some evidence to suggest that certain genetic and environmental factors may increase the risk of developing MS. It is not hereditary however, you have an increased chance of developing MS if you have a close relative with MS. For example, if your parents or siblings have MS then you have about 2 in 100 chance, compared to the general population who have a 1 in 500 chance of developing MS. Symptoms of Multiple Sclerosis Multiple sclerosis can cause a wide range of symptoms that can vary greatly from person to person and can depend on the part, or parts, of the brain or spinal cord affected. The symptoms, or relapses, can occur for no obvious reason however there are some potential triggers such as infections, hot weather, and exercise. There are several common symptoms of MS, including Fatigue Numbness or tingling in the limbs Weakness in the limbs Blurred vision or double vision. Muscle spasms or stiffness. Trouble with coordination and balance. Changes in cognitive function, such as memory problems or trouble concentrating. Emotional problems and depression. 
It's important to note that the symptoms of MS can be very similar to those of other neurological conditions, making it difficult to diagnose. Identification and Diagnosis of Multiple Sclerosis The diagnosis of multiple sclerosis can be a complex and time-consuming process. There is no single test that can definitively diagnose MS, so a combination of tests and evaluations are typically used. These may include a neurological examination to assess muscle strength, coordination, and reflexes. An MRI scan to look for signs of damage to the myelin. A lumbar puncture or spinal tap to examine the fluid surrounding the brain and spinal cord. Blood tests to rule out other conditions with similar symptoms. Prevention and treatment of multiple sclerosis. It is unfortunate that multiple sclerosis has no cure at the moment. However, there are a number of treatments and therapies available that can help to manage the symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. Treatments are initiated and closely monitored by your doctor and specialists. Treatments fall into four categories. 1. Medicines that help to modify the disease process. These medicines are called immunomodulators. 2. Steroid medication to help treat relapses. 3. Medication to help with and ease other symptoms. For physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, psychological therapies etc. and general support to minimize disability. It's important to work with a healthcare team that is knowledgeable about multiple sclerosis and can help you find the treatments and therapies that are right for you. What is the outlook slash prognosis? MS is not the same for everyone. Each individual will be affected in different ways and as a result it is very difficult to predict your prognosis. Many people will be able to function normally for many years whilst some will become disabled over time. Even though there is currently no cure for MS, intensive research is being done to produce better drugs and hopefully a cure at some point in the near future. Conclusion In conclusion, multiple sclerosis is a chronic autoimmune disease that affects the central nervous system and can cause a wide range of symptoms. Although there is currently no cure for MS, there are treatments and therapies available that can help manage its symptoms and slow its progression. Living with MS can be challenging, but with the right support and resources, it is possible to live a fulfilling life. It is important to work closely with your healthcare team, stay informed about the latest advancements in MS research and treatments, and take care of both your physical and mental well-being. Remember that you are not alone in your journey with MS, and there is a supportive community ready to help. And that's it guys, I tried to make multiple sclerosis super simple for you. My wish is that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy.